What's up guys, it's Drek, and this is a new holster. Now, I love custom leather goods. In particular, I love custom leather goods that are black, because they match all of my tactical gear. So this holster has been dyed black. It is thick, thick leather, and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, I sent this to the maker. Now, the maker is in Georgia. He's a local artisan, and he's doing a really good job of these kind of like really weird leather holsters. And when I say weird, I mean like he made a back holster for the sledge fire. Like he's making some huge holsters. And I told him, I was like, look, hammer shot holsters, strife holsters, and FDL holsters. Was I supposed to say FDL holsters? Maybe not, but that could be coming in the future. Anyway, I sent him this. This is a non-functional strife. Like this is just a stock strife that I quickly epoxied a cover onto and threw one of the Drec battery doors on with a thumb screw. And I gave him this so that he could mold to, at some point I ought to modify this and turn it into something special, but I gave him this so that he could mold for a uh, strife with those accessories because it's difficult to get a strife with a bowed out battery door and motor cover into any sort of traditional style holster. Now you can retain them in certain ways with straps, but this is a very unique take to it. And I in particular love that he left it open here so that you can fit any size magazine. And I'll show you that in a second. Now it does not have a thigh strap and it doesn't need one. The leather is so thick here that it's got a lot of weight to it. So when I move and jump, it, it stays pretty stationary. Now the rabbit fur being black is a really nice touch and it's nice because it means that while this one you don't have to care about, like this we could throw anywhere, it doesn't matter because it's not painted and it's not like special, it's a sleeper, right? I do make some very nice stripes and these are like so nice that I would hate to scratch them up by scraping them against buckles or whatnot. And this is almost a carbon copy of those bowing outs. So this was realistically designed to holster Cortana. Now I have a really nice way of carrying Cortana where I don't have to worry about her falling out and I can just take my AI with me wherever I go. Unholsters clean because that rabbit fur creates kind of a static grip of sorts. So it's very snug in there and the weight of it is really comfortable and then you pull it out and can fire. Now again, if I drop this magazine and throw in say a 15 rounder, it still fits in the holster. Now you do get this kind of tail effect coming off, but you can put any magazine outside of the drums that you want in it. So this is like really nice. It took into account a lot of my feedback from other holster reviews that I've done and it just whipped up something really, really cool. Again. I think that there's a chance that this will be an FDL holster and the FDL has such a weird front end that like a bucket style holster like this would be ideal. The brass and riveting on it is adjustable. I'll pull that off real quick and show you that like these screws can be adjusted with like a little bit of Loctite and then there's a little bit of fastening on, on this side to give it a little more sturdiness. But I mean nicely like tanned, well formed. And I'm really, really happy with it. So he can make strife holsters that will fit modified stripes or stock stripes. He's also working on hammer shot holsters. And I think that he really like shines for bespoke work. Like you tell him what you want and he makes it. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a black on black holster that would hold stripes that would not care about what kind of magazine I put in it. And I think that it's doing an excellent job of that. Plus, it's easy to access with that huge bucket. Like, you never have to worry about fiddling and making sure that you latch it in properly. You can legitimately just kind of tuck it in and throw it in and it finds its way home. That's pretty cool. It's very comfortable. And honestly, it kind of looks like something Jon Snow would wear into battle. Like, this is a very Game of Thrones-esque look with the black on black leather and fur. But... I don't know, it's really hot down here in Georgia. Most of the time it's kind of chilling off now and it was still comfortable for an entire day of SE and C wear. Like, it's solid, solid work. I highly recommend checking him out. He does have an Etsy store and I'll put it in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. I love doing these tactical gear reviews. They never get an absolute ton of views, but, I mean, Jon Snow's holster. First strike. Uh, 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 uh.